Three years after a Knox County couple was uh, kidnapped, carjacked, raped, and slain, the families of Shannon Christian and Christopher Denusen finally got to hear today what the defense strategy will be for the fourth suspect to stand trial in the January 2007 incident. Vanessa Coleman's defense team told jurors this morning that Coleman was herself a kidnapping victim. What uh, attorney Ted Labatt said was that when uh, Ms. Coleman attempted to leave the Chipman Street house after a bound and blindfolded Shannon Christian was brought inside, that her boyfriend, Latavis Coppins, put a gun to her head and threatened her. And she will insist at this trial that she was essentially held hostage throughout this event in order to do various things, including checking the pulse of Ms. Christian after, she says, ringleader Lamericus Davidson choked her. Uh, other than that bit of a bombshell, uh, the case has proceeded just as the other three trials for Davidson, Cobbins, and suspect George Thomas. We've heard an establishment of the timeline from the time that the couple went missing on the night of January 6th uh, up through the time that Chris Newsom's body was found near railroad tracks on January 7th. One thing that neither the prosecution nor the defense mentioned during opening statements was a journal that is purportedly uh, written by Ms. Coleman and at least references, if not details, uh, incidents uh, around the time of these killings. The judge specifically warned the prosecution not to mention it. He said, if you do, it's at your own peril because he's not yet ruled whether that journal will be allowed uh, into evidence. And let me tell you, I've been looking at this page of this journal, and you know, by, by eliminating a couple words, uh, it makes this entirely, uh, it, you can eliminate any suggestion about what we're even talking about here. Yeah. I mean, if you take out the word period, and weird and normal, the rest of it's the rest of it's, it's, it, 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 it means nothing whatsoever. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, so I think that it can be accomplished by whiting out, photographing, doing a photocopy of this page, making it part of the record, and then whiting out period, weird and normal, and maybe fourth and eleventh, and introducing the document as the document if the document comes in. The judge will decide based on A, can the state prove it's hers, and they do have a handwriting expert lined up to testify about that, and B, is it relevant? Uh, C, is it uh, too prejudicial or is it uh, relevant enough that it outweighs any prejudice? We don't know what it says. It's not been entered as an exhibit and kept under lock and key. So that's one of those things that I think courtroom watchers are really waiting on is to see what this journal says.